Hi and welcome to another radio story. Today here on the bench, Raikom IC7100. And some of these radios having problems with the touch screen and uh, so this one as well. So you see whatever I do here uh, our touch screen is uh, not responding and yeah, that is really no fun uh, if you are facing the same problem with your radio. Well, we have a good chance that uh, that is in brackets only uh, the uh, touch screen uh, digitizer, but uh, anyways it is really annoying to uh, having this fault and you see I can do whatever I want nothing I mean sometimes it is working but uh, most of the time like it is, uh, to, to, uh, is like it is now um, it is uh, not working at all so therefore let's uh, taking apart here our head unit we need to, to get access here to uh, the display uh, especially to the display digitizer and uh, then uh, let's have a look around if we see something obvious if not uh, we simply go and uh, swap out uh, the digitizer and uh, yeah hopefully it uh, will work again. Okay, and uh, what we are going uh, to swap out is here really our first uh, layer or the first foil here, so really the digitizer. Um, and uh, yeah, let me show you how a new one looks like. So that is uh, here a new one and uh, you see uh, that uh, it is really here our first uh, frame which uh, is here really uh, sitting here in uh, the front housing but uh, as uh, it is uh, connected uh, to uh, our uh, front processor board of course we uh, need uh, to get it uh, connected uh, as well and uh, therefore we uh, need uh, to get access here to uh, our PCB and uh, you see here we have here our front uh, panel um, processor um, and uh, yeah therefore we need uh, to take it apart a little bit uh, farther okay I mean the little ribbon uh, cable is uh, down uh, here so that is uh, if uh, you look here to the new one so that is uh, what we need uh, to connect into that uh, socket but uh, you may see I uh, have no chance to uh, get here the ribbon cable through uh, the back side so therefore I really uh, have to take it here apart that uh, we get uh, a bit more access and then we will be able to do this job here yeah we are moving forward and uh, yeah what you can see here so uh, we have taken off here our metal frame and uh, of course our PCB and uh, now I get uh, access here to uh, the LCD um, well yes I could uh, peel it off here from the front because uh, we have seen that uh, it is here the uh, entire inner frame which uh, we need to, to get off but uh, you know um, it is uh, more safe if uh, we try uh, to push it here from uh, the back side um, I mean yeah I could go here in between with a knife but uh, I do not prefer the method 
as um, you know it is uh, really easy uh, to damage um, here something so let's go the safe way and the screws are off and now it is uh, quite simple to lift up here our uh, LCD which uh, we have here of course and uh, I can uh, put it aside and uh, yeah now we are really where we want to be and uh, from my point of view here you by the way can you see the little ribbon wire and now uh, it is easier to push it out but uh, yeah it's not a good idea to do it around the camera because the, we do not want uh, to break here something and of course uh, here the frame uh, is glued in so uh, therefore we uh, go uh, here underneath and uh, we uh, pull here it along to lose uh, the glue a little bit to uh, push it out uh, easier at uh, the end and after we have loosened it a little bit we can uh, push it like uh, so and we really can take it out so that uh, is our old one and uh, of course uh, now we uh, have to clean it here a little bit and then we glue in the new one of course yeah and it is really important uh, to get here all uh, the glue away uh, because uh, you really need uh, an even surface uh, when you put on your new um, frame so therefore uh, be sure that uh, you really have uh, all the old glue off here from uh, the housing that uh, yeah it uh, will uh, work as um, easy as you want okay so when it is clean our next step will be to glue our new frame in so uh, we have already here is a sticky foil on uh, our new uh, digitizer so that uh, will be no problem so let me simply glue it in so that's easy and the new one uh, is in and uh, you see we uh, have here our uh, protective uh, foil still uh, on our new digitizer um, and uh, the same here from uh, the back side so um, now I uh, will do the next step and uh, put here our LCD back and of course uh, therefore I uh, have to take off here uh, our protective uh, foil uh, but uh, other than that uh, it is really no problem to uh, fit in here our new um, uh, digitizer so uh, yeah you really uh, will be able to do it uh, for yourself so you really do not uh, hesitate it is not so difficult so the only thing you really need uh, to take uh, care on is to clean uh, the, uh, the the inner here of uh, the frame from uh, the old uh, sticky glue and the LCD is uh, already uh, back in and uh, you see down here our little rim uh, wire cable which uh, we need uh, to connect back here to this little um, LCD um, uh, PCB and uh, yeah but uh, that is uh, what we will uh, do last so uh, our next uh, step is now uh, to put back here our metal frame and the last thing what we uh, have to do is of course we have to put back here uh, our PCB um, so don't forget to put uh, here uh, on the right hand side the ribbon cable uh, back here 
to uh, the connector on the PCB and yeah, then we are almost ready. Sure, all is back together so let me put back uh, the uh, backside of the housing and then we can go for testing. Okay, so everything is ready for uh, testing so far. So let's uh, power the radio up. And uh, yeah, so that is uh, already the good one. It is, oops, powering up. Our speaker is working. Very nice. Okay, so let's see. Wow. That's looking very good. So I really will be able to do what we need to do. Everything is working as it should. So you see our uh, display is uh, back finally. So that uh, are really great news. Really, really nice. And uh, Yeah, enough testing, you see, it is working and uh, well, I hope uh, I was able to show you how to solve this problem. So you only need a new digitizer and then you go, go step by step and uh, your IC7100 is back working as it should. So, thanks for watching and catch you next time. Bye.